do subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the notification bell to get the latest update this video is the solution of exercise 1b sets from ars agarwal book question number 2 let's start solution so question number 2 is write down all subsets of each of the following sets so let's see first set first set is a equal to set of 3 now first we will write all elements of a null set 3 that's it null set is available in every set now we will write all possible subset null set and set of number 3 now we will write like this this is possible all possible subset of a we will write like this this is all possible subsets of a null set and set of 3 let's see next question second set second set is set b equal to minus 2 and 5 as i told you in the prior set that null set is everywhere now come to here this is minus 2 and 5 any more element no now we will write all possible sorry all possible subset of b so we will write like this first we will draw this bracket now null set now minus 2 inside the bracket this is a set and 5 inside the bracket and Minus two and minus five. This is also a subset of B. All set R sets are subset of itself because subset means. all element must be available in another set so minus 2 and 5 is also available here so this is also subset of b let's see next set set number 3 c minus 3 0 and 3 first we will start from elements minus 3 0 3 and null set is there but we will write this at time of subset now first we will start making writing subset now first 
null set. Second, we will write all individual elements as a set. Minus 3, 0, 3. Now, make a pair of 2. Minus 3, 0. Next pair, 0 and 3. 0 and 3. Next pair 3 and minus 3. Minus 3 and 3. Last pair is the same as set of C. So minus 3, 0 and 3. Now we will write all possible subset of C. Start from here. First we will put this bracket and null set. Minus 3 0 3 Minus 3 and 0 minus 3 minus minus 3 and plus 3 minus 3 0 3 minus 3 0 3 now bracket close this bracket close here all are subset of C because all element of all sets are available in C. This is set of minus 3. Minus 3 is available here also. This is set of 0. 0 is here available. So this is also null set. Null set is subset of every set. So let's see question number 4. So set 4 is D equal to A, B. Here we will first write the elements A and B. Now we will write subsets. What are the possible subsets? First we will start from null set. Null set is a subset of every set. Now we will write first element A as a set. Now second element B as a set. Now both element A and B as a set. Now we will write the perfect answer. All possible subsets. First we will start from this bracket and we will write this null set here. And second is set A. This set, set of B and last. This is the possible subset of D. We can say this is the subset of D. Yes, because A, A is the element of D also and A is element here only. So this is the answer of fourth set. Let's see fifth set. So fifth set is E. Set E. Is the null set. So all possible subset is only null set. There is no other elements. So all possible subset of E is a null set. This is the only possible subset. So we will write like this. Let's see next question. Sixth set. 
सिक्स सेट इज एफ एफ इज सेट ऑफ टू एंड सेट थ्री फर्स्ट वी विल राइट दिस this as a x set x so we can write this 2 and x so element of f is 2 and x not 3 because 3 is element of x not f element of f is x now we will write the possible subset of f start from bracket first element is 2 but first we will write null set because null set is the subset of every set now come to element 2 so we can write this as a subset 2 next this x and next both together 2 and x now we will remove this as x as a set of 3 so we will write null set two set and here this because x is this thing here so we will write set of 3 here now two and this this complete x is this 3 with bracket so this is the our subset now we will close this bracket here so this is the possible subset of f let's see seventh set so seventh set is g is a set of 5 and set of 7 and 8 so first we will write the element but before that we will convert this this thing we can write this as y equal to 7 and 8 set of 7 and 8 now we can write this g as 5 and y because we assume it is as a y so we will write this y now element of g element of g is 5 and y not 7 and 8 no because 7 and 8 are the element of y not g no so let's start with the possible subset of g first as i said null set null set is a subset of every set now first element as a set 5 second as a set y next both together 5 and y now close this bracket next we will write the value of y this this is the value of y so we will put the value of y here now null set 5 first we are putting this bracket now we are putting the value of y so value of y is including the bracket so bracket 7 8 this bracket closed now this bracket closed next we will start from this bracket then we will write 5 now we will put the value of y again i am saying value of y is including this bracket so bracket then 7 8 bracket closed now we will close this bracket now we will close this bracket so this is the possible subset of g i hope you like the video and you get help from my videos 
If you like the video, press the like button. Do subscribe my channel. Share with your friends and don't forget to press the notification bell. Have a nice day.